as in the Danish hay and not the American hay. Greetings and welcome to Ask That Guy with the Glasses. If my bologna has a first name, should I eat it? That's a very good question. And the answer, of course, is no, you shouldn't. It has a first name. For God's sakes, would you eat anything that honestly has a first name? For example, could you honestly eat a chicken if you named him Howard? I couldn't. Now, Howard the duck, that would be a different story. But Howard the chicken, absolutely not. Now, animals with last name, <laughs> that's a different story. Giving an animal a last name just makes me want to eat it even more. I call most of my food Stevenson simply because it makes it taste better. For example, there was a delightful baby seal that I was eating the other day, and I said, Mmm, that's good, Stevenson. With Stevenson onions. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> what would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? I don't know. Try it. Abelo figolo, abelo figolo, abelo figolo, abelo figolo. What a douche. Do you need a silencer to shoot a mime? No, I don't care what you use, just kill him. In fact, I've tried just about everything to kill a mime and nothing seems to work. For example, I've set out my army of invisible boxes. Nothing. They always stop when they get down to their smallest and then they don't do anything. Why hire invisible boxes if they stop before they kill the mime? I'll tell you why. Because the Hummel figurine demands it. My babushka is officially made out of your soul. Your children are next. Isn't she cute? No. Knock knock. Who's there? Can. Can who? Can I borrow a cup of sugar? <laughs> boxers or briefs? <laughs> well, you know I'm always gonna wear boxers. Boxers are just so much more comfortable and make you feel relaxed. Take last week, for instance. I had Mike Tyson wrapped around my family jewels. I can't describe a more thrilling sensation. He was a bit nippy, though. Every other second, he was always nipping at something on my body. But that just makes me wear it more. <laughs> Incidentally, I plan on wearing Muhammad Ali on my jewels next week. Insert horrible bad taste joke here. And then, sodomy. Can you get that kind of action from Priest? I don't think so. Unless they're on a boxer. In which case, it creates sort of a weird paradox. A paradox that involves Jesus Christ in a can of tuna, but you don't want to know how that works. Or do you? Is there a doctor in the house? I don't know. Let me check. Are you a doctor? Yes. Oh, Christ! Not anymore. 911, what is your emergency? Yes, the psychotic maniac just shot me! Oh, God, call an ambulance! Oh, God, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> Nothing. Wrong number. How can you misdial 91? I mean, it's only three numbers. Bina. I recently broke into your house and stole your gimp suit, including the fluffy handcuffs and sex doll. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> only one? What if Iron Chef and Iron Man traded places? God would literally orgasm. Incidentally, that's only happened one other time. It was called the Big Bang. And for that very reason, so quite naturally, I think we should do it. Take Robert Downey Jr. and, I don't know, Sakai, and switch them around. That way we'll have another Big Bang and form a whole new realm of existence. I hope this one has monkey dogs in it. Have you ever seen monkey dogs before? <laughs> you will. You will. Why do you always have that same location in every single episode? I guess I never noticed. Well, I guess I should get a new one. Yes. This is that guy with the glasses saying, there's no such thing as a stupid question until you ask it. Um, was that a time bomb?